everyone, welcome to another edition of Craps Down Under. Uh, today I'm going to do my uh, low roller version of the field parlay. Uh, Chris from Chuck and Dice, I believe it was, who asked me, um, uh, can you play this at a lower level? And you can. Uh, what you have to keep in mind is what's the lowest lay bet you can do. So $40 lay um, would to win 20 is probably, for a lot of casinos, you'll find that that's, that's what they may have as a minimum lay bet. Uh, some will take 30 to win 15. It really depends, but I'm just going to work it on a $40 lay. So the way we start, I've got a $600 bankroll here. I will need to get, I will need to get some more reds. So let me do that. And let me uh, let me also get some whites because we need a bunch of those. I'll get 20 in whites. Let's do that. Good. All right. So 20 in whites done. So 21. That's what we put on the felt on the on the field. And 18 each on the six and eight. So three units. All right. So total action, 18, 18 is 36, and that plus a 21 is $57 in action. So let's get started. Let's grab some dice and coming out. We've got a yo at the gate. It's a $21 winner. And at this chance, you can lay to protect your base action. Or you can say, look, I'm going to risk it and make keep my 4 and 10 as profit numbers. So there's pros and cons. If you leave the 4 and 10, if you don't do the lay, uh, the 4 and 10 are profit numbers. You've got six extra combinations to be to win win that parlay on. If you take them out, you protect against a 7, which is good. But the problem is, is uh, you've now potentially lost an opportunity to get your parlay. And then maybe you do hit the 10, then the next roll's an 8. And then you go, ah, oh, missed the chance to get my parlay. So um, it can can be good when the cold, when the table's cold, but let's just give it a roll and see if we can defeat the seven. Now oh, we got a nine. Awesome. So either way, that time would have worked because we ended up rolling a nine. So that's a forty-two dollar winner. So get our forty-two dollars done. And now what do we do? Well. Hand the deal 36 and say, whoops, that's not 36. 36 and say, make my six and eight 36 each, please. So I'll take one of them. I'll basically make them look like 36 for you. And that's that done. And I'll put that there. And what else are we going to do? Well, we'll put 15 on the 5. Um, we could put a little bit more. We could put 28, uh, sorry, 20 to win 28. We are going to play this at a $30 level. So we've got 25. We've got to add just a couple of bucks if we do that. If we take play this less, then, um, of course, we, we don't add anything more from our bankroll. It's really up to you which way you want to go. Um, yeah, it's really, really up to you. So I'm going to play this at the $20, $20 level to win 28. And I'll add the two for my bankroll. And I'll color that up at 30. Color it up nice. And now we're set. Now, this is where I would do our lay bet. Makes sense to do it right here. Until you get some profit. What you're aiming to do is protect your, your a bit of your base investment. We're protecting 40 bucks of our original bank roll. Yes, we are removing some profit combinations, but we are also protecting ourselves as well. So it is a trade-off. Um, I didn't track the point. But it doesn't matter, we're always working. So we're just going to play until we see a seven, aren't we, anyway? So there's an eight. 
Uh, that is actually going to win because we've got 36. It's going to win 42. So like that. Now what do we want to do with that? Well, I'll, I'll probably take him up. Take him up to get that coloured up. It's going to win 35. And um, let's just take one of these. Oh, well, we don't have to even do that. We can just rack it. You can rack it. You could pick up the nine if you want. You could put it on the C, do whatever you want. Let's just say we pick up the nine. That little bit of crumb that's left over. All right. Eight. Again, we're going to get 30, 42. So let's chuck it on the nine. Uh, eight again. So we really shouldn't be playing the field at all because uh, <laughs> that eight keeps hitting, hammering away. So we're in a good position, but we haven't had. Ah, um... oh, there's our seven. So a bit of a shame about that. Not able to really get a field to to capitalise on our position at all. We just keep hitting this. So as you've seen, perfect position, couldn't get a nine, couldn't get a field to save ourselves. Um, we really only had the first two fields and then it was a complete vacuum of fields. The fact that we got so many of these, that's actually hard to do. It's, it's actually hard to get that many numbers hit on one number. It's a quite a small probability to see that, but nevertheless, we're, uh, we're quite used to seeing strange things happen on my table. <laughs> If you've watched any of my videos, we get very strange things happen. So obviously we lose everything that's on the felt. We didn't really get a chance to rack rack anything because we were building up our nine. Hoping and still hoping to get some kind of hit on the field. So we've got 40 bucks. We are going to get, they're all going to pay 20 each. Uh, so we're going to get 40 in total and we're going to have to pay some VIG on that. So there's our 40 we get back. We do owe $2 of VIG. So that does help. Um, so that's kind of what we what we got. Um, what we got, we you can see we get most of our uh, most of our actions all paid for up the top here. We do have our base action down here that we've got to pick up ourselves. A little bit there. All right. So now we're on. Lay bets are off. And we've got a new shooter. So let's get some new dice coming out. Got a three. $21 winner. Oops. 21 there. And we got a six. I'll see if I can remember to track the point this time. So I'm not able to hold onto it. We've got a yo. Win it. Can we get it again? <laughs> no. Uh, so we're just, the dice are taunting us and uh, costing us money. So we know that it was, uh, what was it, $57. Uh, we said it was 36 plus 21. So that, that's 57. So I'll just hand the deal of 57 and we're, we're all set up again. So when you're not getting the fields, it's a really costly strategy. You have to get fields. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. And you need to have some hands you know, every time a seven comes, it's like any life side strategy. If you don't get your numbers you're on <laughs> and you're getting those sevens, you're just going to get wiped out. That's just plain and simple truth. There we go. Can we, can we get a field back to back? Again, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to use the seven protection. Uh, see, still can't. we just can't get them back to back, but we can get every other number under the sun 
can come back to back to back to back to back, like the six or the eight. But we can't get a field to actually hit, so. And hence our, our bank roll is depleting. Because they're just not getting fields. There's a 10. And you actually do need them to come back to back. And there's six. And we do the whole yo-yo. So that six replaces. And there's a nine. Back in again. So, and there's our seven. So if you don't get those back to backs, this is what's gonna happen. We didn't have, uh, we should have, again, and this shows you, we're in the parlay situation where having the lay working uh, would have certainly saved us 40 bucks. So as it stands, uh, we lost $57 again. And we've got enough to do this 10 times, basically, is what we had in our rack. We had $600, so we had enough to play 10 shooters. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we're getting a single shooter able to give us anything. So here we go again, new shooter. Again, where are the field numbers? We're just asking for two field numbers back to back. That loses, pays, but we can hit these numbers fine. But we're not getting the field numbers. 10. All right. And it seems whenever we get a field number, we either get a seven or a another non-field number, like that. And there's a nine again. So the frustration, the strategy can be frustrating, and there's the eight again. Okay. And this is, this is where you come undone. Uh, there's midnight, so again, why couldn't have that just come a bit earlier? Because it's, it's nice to get it, but it doesn't really get us where we want to be. Um, so what do we want to do? I would probably just go, look, Possibly just do that and treat it like a first part. Cover your five. Got the yo. All right, so now we get our 40, 42. So now we're in business. All right. So, and 36. And make, deal will make everything look like 36. So you only got to add 18 to each. So 18 to each each bet takes us up to 36. All right, there's our 36 done. Already got this one at 20, so we can pretty much just rack everything else. Might color it all up, maybe. Put it into my rack. Put 30 here. All right. So now we're in business. We can turn these on. In fact, um, sorry, this 36 is going to win 42. We could take this up, up to 40. This one's going to be a bit of a deficit, um, but we have racked a little bit there. I'm going to wing it and say if we can get a get get a number that's not a five, we will pick up the deficit. There's an eight, of course, uh, 42. That's what we're got, gonna get, 42. <laughs> an eight, my God, these, these, these sixes and eights are doing my head in because they have no trouble hitting. But a field with 16 combinations can't hit, but this one with five combinations is hitting. And there's a seven. Even, this, even the field can't beat the seven. The field is struggling to hit on any of our rolls. Literally, over and over and over again, we are unable to hit the field in any kind of representative, statistical representation of the field. Should be hitting far more often. It's half the numbers almost. Like it's, it's 16 numbers. And we're, we're not seeing half of our numbers being field numbers or even back-to-back -back field numbers. Yet we're able to see every other number consistently appear. 
Anyway, that's just how it is. 40 bucks is what we get back from our lay. We owe $2 big. Eighteen, eighteen. Can we actually get some field numbers? I'm starting to think the the dice don't know what a field number is. Laser off. These are on. Let's go. Four. There's a field number. We should try and track the point, eh? Hey? A 21, parlay, let's go, come on. No, six, that's not a field number. So we lose our field, we replace it. And that dreaded five, come on, give us something. It can't just continuously avoid the field like it's doing, but it seems to do that. There we go, we win. Can we get a parlay? Can we just get... No, we can't get a back-to-back. -back. It's literally impossible. All right. Getting kind of tired of it. We can hit the eight back-to-back. -back. Four. Five combinations against 16. And this can go back-to-back -back every single time. Like, almost every hand, we've hit these numbers consistently back-to-back. Back-to-back-to-back. -back -back. We can't hit 16 back-to-back. -back. And that's just... Freaky dice rolls. Nine. Oh, we got a nine. It was literally, literally just rolled over at the very end. It was going to be a five. Literally just at the very end, tilted over. Like it seems to be like the hardest thing on earth to get two fields on, on this table today. Right, there we go. 36. Make this all... 36. Got a red chip mixed in there. All right, 36. Let's we'll leave that on. Uh, 20 there. And take this up. Up to 35. All right, laser on. All right, we are going to lose a little bit here um, if we hit a four or ten, but I have no doubt that the seven is going to end our hand anyway. Eight. So we are going to get twelve there. We'll take that up a little bit. So that's going to bring us up to twenty-five. Follow him up. Uh, that's the extra bit left over. Uh, what else do we want to do? Leave it there. Nine. All right, finally we got a field. Finally we were able to hit a field. Never been so hard, has it? All right, so what do we do? Um, we can put it in our rack. Put it up here, or we can go, you know, well, let's try and go for a back to back. We've got a 10 just as well because uh, we would have lost five bucks if we hadn't. So we've got 40 there, but up the top here, we've got 50, 60, 70. So we're going to net 20 bucks and placing our, sorry, $40 field. Sorry, we're going to win 30 bucks. Gonna net 30 bucks. Because the field's at 40. So I'm gonna net 30 bucks. Alright, let's just run it at 50. See if we can we can get it up. Uh, in fact, no, no, I'll run it one more time. $50. Ah, oh, we got a six. Damn. Not what we wanted. But 40. 42. Put it up to 40. Put the two in our rack. Six again. 
Just put two in our rack. Three, finally got one. 40 bucks, we're on a parlay. Let's do the parlay. Nine, you got it. Sometimes, sometimes, it has to work out. We want a parlay again. Let's do it. Nine, got it. All right, so that's, uh, what do we got? Got 40, 44, that's a hundred and sixty dollars. That's a win. Let's take it all back in a rack. All right, now let's see what we've got in our rack. I'm gonna take us all down, because I'm conscious, conscious of the fact that we have enough profit here. Started with 600, our profit target of 20%, should be around 120 to 150 profit target. So I can see, that we've actually got 150. That's our original 600 there. Got more than 150. Got an extra five there. And uh, some 25s there. So, done okay. All right. That's another black. So, 236 bucks. Got there. Did a bit of, did a Bit of bold play here on the field with the nine, but that's okay. Some, at some point, we have to get a field hit, right? At some point. So there, there it all is. So the question is, do we want to uh, do we want to do a bonus round and uh, put two hundred and let's just lay lay two hundred on the tent and see if uh, we'll play for the seven. See if we can double or at least. Get another hundred bucks playing for the seven. There's an eight, nine, four, five, eight. Quite a nice run here. Four, all profit numbers there, that four. Three, profit number. Eight. This is our smoking hand here. Five. There's our seven. All right, we got there. We got a hundred bucks. We go five dollar big. There's a little bit of a bit of a bonus round. Either way, we're going to come home with. A little bit of profit. Um, that's that basically represented about five percent of it, five percent profit or something. There you go, three hundred bucks. Not too bad. So we'll call that a, a profitable session. We made fifty percent of our bankroll. Bit of a bonus round on the lay at the end. Um, again, you could you could roll it again. Try it, try it one more time, um, and. Check out when when you lose it. They're all things you can kind of do as a bit of a bonus round at the end. You know, maybe take take that 100 we just won. See if we can do it again. Eight. Can we get another 50 bucks out of it? 
Because remember, we're two to one favourite to win that. Doesn't mean we will. Nine. Four. Six. Eight. Six. Back to back sixes. Nine. Geez, long roll. Four. Not liking this roll. <laughs> Not able to get a seven. Five. All right, so I've done it long enough. I'm going to call it quits. Risked it long enough. Of course, now I don't have that. Let's just watch what happens. Seven. <laughs> There you go. So you just saw it. Seven was just waiting for me to, the dice were just waiting for me to take my bet off. So, because I can see what you're doing. I'm convinced. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. We got our, we got $300 profit and uh, yeah, a bit of a bold move there, parlaying our field, but you gotta sometimes make some bold moves and uh, it's gambling after all. And uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to have, have some fun and see if uh, our luck prevails. And unfortunately today, uh, we, we got there, but it was a tough ride and it uh, didn't all go our way, but it does show that uh, you can get those runs where the fields do hit eventually. And uh, once you, if you're there and you're in, the, in that box seat to capitalize on it when they do happen, then fantastic. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was the low roller edition with a little bit of high roller bonus play at the end there. So, see you very soon. Bye for now.